Kent's rich, varied history is said to include the origins of the world's second most popular sport, cricket. The game is reputed to have originated amongst children in Kent's Weald during Saxon or Norman times. To find out more, I've come to meet local resident Andrew Kemba, who established Salix Cricket Bats in 1990. The company makes handcrafted bats out of the finest traditional materials, and they're used by many international players. Andrew, good to Hello. meet you. Hello. Now, you might not know this, but I'm actually from Kent, and I like to think Kent is the home of cricket. I think we're pretty safe saying that. So how did you get into this business, making some of the best cricket bats in the world? Really a love of the game. Now, I know it's made from willow, and that's about it. Where does the willow come from? We tend to use willow from the southeast, and if we can buy um, wood from Kent, then perfect. This is the, the, the starting point for us. Our first job now is to plane the face and have a look at the quality of the wood and um, start to be able to assess where we're going to put the handle, which end we think should be the driving end, um, what sort of weight we think the bat's going to be and what shape we think we should make it. So what's the next process? Well, the next process is pressing, and we can press this piece of wood here. OK. Before the face of the willow is pressed at a pressure of up to 2,000 pounds per square inch, it's sprayed with water to keep the fibres of the wood supple. So if we start the machine... Yep. Now, what I would like you to do is just feed the bat between the side rollers and the face roller. The pressing process strengthens the willow and gives it more rebound when struck by the ball. The handle is made separately to the bat out of cane laminated with strips of rubber. Both the handle and blade of the bat are cut with the same unique splicing saw. They're fitted together in a room next door. If you're able to glue this handle, both sides and the end, and then I'll pop that in. I'll let you fit it, though. OK, so... How thick do you need it? That is absolutely perfect. Great. OK, so when we put the handle in... And then... I'll get out of the way. Handle. Is that a good fit? It's a great fit. With the handle attached, the bat is left to set overnight before the next stage of the process, shaping. Oh, now there's a lot of cricket bats in here. Yes, absolutely. So many, right. OK, so this is a draw knife. Yep. So we're now going to take the top of the cane off here. You're measuring those shavings so precisely. How many cricket bats do you think you've produced in the 36 years you've been doing this? Oh, tens of thousands. Okay, yeah. If you draw this towards you and then just take a small shaving, yep. that's it. I'm being very, very careful here, aren't I? I don't want to take too much off, but I probably need to put a bit more pressure. It's... A draw knife is, a, is such a difficult tool to um, use, but actually you're going really well. How's that? Almost there, but we do need to take a little bit more um, wood out. Do you want me to take that last Go bit? Go on, then. I don't want to ruin it. I'm, I can feel I'm slightly holding back. So That's here. how it's meant to be done. Look at that. And then wow. we're just drawing the knife down in towards the toe, try and keep the bat looking as, as fluid lines as we possibly can. And is there a signature to your cricket bats? I think the amount of handwork that, that we do um, is probably quite unusual now. Just looking at the tools that you use, they haven't changed, have they, in many a year? Some of the tools here are going to be 100 years or more old. Andrew then uses a plane to take more weight from the back of the bat. And how do you finish off the bat? Well, at this stage, we will coarse sand, fine sand the bats, they will be polished, we will put binding on the handles. Once the um, labels go on, it look like this. The finished article. I've got to ask, where does Salix come from? Is that the family name? No, Salix is Latin for willow. So, basically, if we translate um, the company, it's um, willow cricket bats. Do you know what? I'll let you into a little secret. This is the first time I've ever held a cricket bat. Have a go. That there? Yes, absolutely. And then nicely into line, playing nice and straight. That feels really good. Not too heavy either. Great. Anyone for cricket? 